Hi, I'm Susan Sutherland, national wedding expert for PerfectWeddingGuide.com and president of JustMarry.com. Today we're going to talk about the proper timing for getting your marriage license. Now there is no one correct answer for this. Of course, after he pops the question and before you say I do, you're certainly going to need to get that license to make the marriage legal. But laws vary state by state, so it's very important that you check in your area when you need to have that license in hand and how long it's good for. Something else to keep in mind is that if you're having a destination wedding, you have to get your license at the state where you're getting married, not back at home. So make sure you find out what the rules are in that particular location. You're going to need to appear in person together with the groom and have photo ID available. They may also require another form of ID, like a birth certificate, to issue that license. Some states require blood tests, so please find out in your area if you need to have medical tests run prior to getting that license, because it can take some time. Also keep in mind that in some states there's a waiting period, so if you want to get married uh, in three or four days, you need to make sure your license will be valid at that time. And also marriage licenses have an expiration date. For example, in the state of Florida, your license is only good for 60 days, so you don't want to get it too early. The main thing to keep in mind is to do research for the area where you're getting your marriage license to make sure you know and understand all the rules and fees and of course the amount of time it takes to get that license. I'm Susan Sutherland, thanks for watching and I wish you a sensational wedding.